brush. How are you doing? So it's uh, time for a review of the King C. Gillette razor. Let me put on my glasses. What is a tradition, definite, precision, expert, perhaps. It's a little bit hard to hard to read it. <laughs> Double edge safety razor. So we're gonna use that. There we go. I already taken out the paper. Bitte schutzpapieren für blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, we have the blades. So let's get our shave on. And they also sell these blades, which is kind of neat. Same on the back and the front. <laughs> and then we have two blades. Two package of five blades in there and they sit pretty good. <laughs> so you can put the double uh, double sided tape and then you can stick it on your wall or over there wherever you want. So it's really nice. Maybe somebody, somebody should make a 3D model of these because they are really neat. See, I can even get a man like that. <laughs> Clever. <clears throat> so, I had one shave before with this razor. <clears throat> and I used uh, then I used uh, this. <laughs> I am impressed actually. But it's not about uh, this today, it's about the uh, King, King C. Gillette uh, razor. So, in the blade, you get them uh, wrapped, and you have here King. Let's see, you can see it. it says, let's see, King Siege Lat, fine grooming since 1901, and it has uh, a number over there. So yeah, that's kind of neat because Gillette has many blades and uh, here you have the king. This is the king on the, the blades. This is King Cam Gillette. You also have a signature there. It says uh, King C. Gillette blades. He was really known by this world over because people recognized his face from the blades, because these were the most selling blades, probably. Here are 10 blades, blue Gillette blades, known the world over. Uh, these are made in London, and you can see we have them made in America too. Here we have. And uh, let's see. The, these blades were called uh, blue blades, came like that. They were wrapped in this very nice with the Gillette logo. Perhaps a little bit prettier than the modern. And here we are. These are the blue blades. Blue Gillette blades. It has a logo, and they are blue like that. So let's put them inside. The handle is most likely, or maybe the old razor, made in China. Of course, uh, the the paper underneath there has had German on it, so probably made in Germany or designed in Germany. I don't know. There we have blading, a little bit overhang, not much. Beautiful logo. When you 
take it out of the box first time and you feel the nerding goes down like this is you think like oh this is uh, this will be slippery to hold but you will see it's not not so bad King C. Gillette he was born in 1855 and he died in uh, 9th of July 1932 An American businessman he invented a best-selling version of the safety razor several miles were in existence before Gillette's design Gillette's innovation was the tin inexpensive uh, disposable blade of a stamp steel uh, Gillette is an uh, aeronomically uh, <laughs> it's a hard to hear it for me. Credited with inventing the so called razor and blades business model. The uh, razor was sold cheaply to increase the market for blades. However, Gillette Safety Razor Company adopted this business model after its competitors, com competition. So here was, uh, and here we have, I'm reading from Wikipedia. And uh, he died uh, broke actually because of the Great uh, Depression. Occupation, innovator, salesman, entrepreneur. And uh, here we have the, the sign for his first racer. So he was a brilliant, brilliant man. Sadly, he died poor. In 1932, because of the Great Depression, stock market crash or whatever it was, and I get my ladder in here. There, no appreciate today. So. I think he was, uh, I think I read at least he was uh, shaving on the train uh, with a straight razor and uh, the sh train was shaking and he cut himself and then they thought why can't there be a better way of shaving yourself <laughs> where you don't cut yourself so bad. <laughs> So that was the start as far as I know, as far as I've read. Of his journey. And he has written many books also, if you didn't know. Like The Human Drift, and I don't remember all the names of the other ones, but there's quite a few. Uh, razor so not so warm steel on my face so it's got a nice heft to it nice weight and I think it was in uh, human drift he wrote and you can uh, work for five years and then you don't have to work anymore for the rest of your life I haven't read the book though, but that's what I found out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sounds good to me, but nobody wanted to, to do what he suggested for his utopian dream, if you like. <laughs> so he was an interesting guy. Sadly, bro, died broke, as I told you. Yeah. Great inventor, innovator. So, made in China. Well, I don't mind, it's okay. Everything moved to China. 
almost everything. But of course I don't like it, but uh, I don't mind buying from China, honestly. Can't say I like it too much that they move all the companies to China. But I don't mind buying from China. That was the first pass. No cuts, no nicks. Really close. Of course there's some stubble. Left over. <laughs> This uh, side and the uh, soap of today, Lakatan French, in this nice dish. Second pass, yeah, it's a good razor. Not super mild, but not super aggressive either. In the middle of the tree. Of course, I haven't tried it with any other blades. <coughs> I did have one shave with it. And I didn't drop it one time, but uh, it was something I was a little bit disappointed when I opened the box, is how the learning goes down. It's easy to, to slip. But when I shaved it last time using foam, I didn't have any problem with that. So it's it's not as slippery as you think. I think maybe the future is more slippery because it doesn't have any knurling on it. At all, and this one has. And I was thinking, uh, uh, those are manufactured eraser, you must have dropped them many times because it's very slippery. And uh, I don't like the learning goes, goes down like that. So it uh, can be a little bit, it feels very slippery in my hand, but I haven't had any problem with it. Dropping it, I guess. But it feels very slippery. I really like the design of the handle, round like that. Has uh, the logo of our signature of King Camp, Chilat. The guy who started it all, more or less. <laughs> and, uh, Going to a grocery store or a regular supermarket, and you you see a traditional safety razor. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> that is uh, really cool. I wonder what people who see this for the first time probably doesn't don't follow uh, videos on YouTube and and etc. What they think when they see this one for the first time <laughs> I really try it those who used fire blades razor modern cartridge razor that is or are they too scared to try it <laughs> who knows <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, smooth. I can quit now, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm going to do all three passes. Let me rinse. Ah. Love the shave, and I'm using my Sony Montana. Scarface. <laughs> uh, 
brush I'm using is the same mug, the big shave you might see there big shave brush limited edition well, so uh, Geo Fat Boy he was talking about uh, uh, using the same colors as the case <laughs> I was thinking the same but I uh, chose the little bit different this time I uh, did the same as him but try this <laughs> so what do you think uh, King Camtulati who was alive today and he know what happened <laughs> to his company and the racers and they come out with this racer in his honor what do they say what do you say think you can uh, comment below if it was me if I was King Camp <laughs> I would say I'm honored of this great, the great honor that you give out a double lecture safety racer in my name and uh, I'm impressed and grateful <laughs> but he would say why aren't these manufactured in the USA and the plates <laughs> But of course I can't speak of his behalf. Just my what I think. <laughs> I don't know. Final pass. Yeah, it's a good racer. As good as my Merker 34G. And my Heaven Jagger, as good as the long shanks over there. <laughs> it's a good racer, too. Don't get me wrong. I think maybe it is one racer I will use more often. Of course, the long shanks does have better knurling and does have better grip. Even though I haven't lost it, it's very slippery. Don't get me wrong. <coughs> and uh, that the knurling goes down like that, it's not the best. But uh, you still get a quite good grip on it. And I really like the, you see the chrome plating and the way it's shaped everything. So I really like the design of it. It's very beautiful made. Maybe it's similar to the Edwin Jagger head. I don't know, but I don't think that that one has the same under here. It's like a shaped, like it was a little bit more curved than that one maybe. Oh yeah. I don't think it's the most aggressive blade, but I think it's more aggressive than uh, Derby. Yeah, for sure. But uh, not as aggressive as a Feather or a Astra SP, for example. Of course, I have some here. 
and also some there, but yeah, I think that's good. A little bit touch ups. Yeah, let's get let me rinse off. I'll be right back with you. So that was close shave. So yeah, decent razor. Yeah, I have quite good grip here though. It's not shaking loose. So it's not bad. Maybe uh, if the nerding here didn't go down, so it feels like to me, but uh, maybe it was a little bit different. It would uh it would feel more secure in the hand, but as I said, there is no issues, no problems. I haven't dropped it. I did have to do some touch-ups today. Maybe it was my technique, I don't know. Last time, using this one and more stubble, I didn't have to do any touch-ups. So, maybe it's the blade, I don't know. <laughs> it can be, it's hard to say. But yeah, I don't have anything to say on it. It's a fine, uh, very fine, <laughs> a very good razor to a quite good price. A hefty handle, a little bit overhang as I told. I like to uh, get the, the blades with the King Cam Gillette honoring him. A very Nicely made, no design issues or anything, no problems whatsoever. Gorgeous razor, very, very beautiful design. So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, that's my thoughts on uh, the King Camp Gillette razor. It's a very good shaver, and I will use it again in rotation. And uh, yeah, really good shaver. So I hope new people who have never seen a double edge shaved eraser before will pick it up and try. Because uh, this will give you a better shave, in my opinion. But your mileage may vary. So let's uh, finish up, finish off today's shave. And uh, since I was using a Gillette. Razor, I will use a Gillette Cool Wave. Sadly, I can't get this in Norway. I bought this in Riga, I think it was. Before you could get it in Norway, I used it all the time. It used to be my favorite. And you can see I've been using it. <laughs> that cool wave down the sand and of course to that bomb looks like so but uh, and the airport <laughs> I've been not flying since uh, before Corona <laughs> and I got the vaccine the two three days ago now and on the side effects was a little bit sore or hurt. Uh, other than that, quite good. My father said he got a headache. So that was the shave. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, follow and subscribe. I appreciate the subscriptions. And all you who subscribed and comment on my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you for that. So take care and we'll see you again in another shave. May you all have solid shaves. <laughs>